Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney, and our personality today is not a town Buddhist or a Bible scholar, but a philosopher and a poet, Rabbi Yehuda Halevi, who was born in 1075 and died in 1141. Rabbi Yehuda Halevi was from Toledo in Spain, and is a product of the golden age of Spanish Jewry, when the Jewish community was in a very prosperous and secure position, and that age produced some of the greatest outpourings of a Jewish uh, artistic and creative work that we've known in the history of the Jewish people. He was primarily, at the beginning of his career, a poet. Although he was a physician by trade, and that's how he made his living, his main contributions were in the realm of poetry. And this remarkably was both in the areas of secular as well as in religious poetry. In the area of verse, he based his poetry on Arabic models, although of course he used the Hebrew language. And his uh, religious poetry is still used in our services today. For example, on Tisha B'Av, the ninth of Av, when we fast to commemorate the destruction of the two temples, we sing what are known as the Zionides, which are the poems that Rabbi Halevi wrote in mourning and in memory of the lost Jewish presence and temple in the land of Israel. There seems to be a change in the course of Rabbi Huda Levi's life after the First Crusades in 1096, when he was about 21 years old. Before that, he'd been entirely devoted to the more secular area of creative work in terms of his poetry, for example, but this turned him much more towards a religious viewpoint, and he became a very significant philosopher. His major philosophical treatise is known as the Kuzari and takes the form of a dialogue between a rabbi and the king of the Khazars where they discuss certain theological and philosophical points. One of Rabbi Yudha Levi's uh, main contentions is that the way to a satisfied religious life is not through speculation, is not through philosophical uh, investigation, but due to a profound religious experience which is different to a more detached philosophical experience or investigation. In this, he's rather different to Maimonides, for whom the entire purpose of religious life was, in fact, that philosophical speculation and meditation. Towards the end of his life, Rabbi Yehuda Levi followed through on his great yearning for Zion, which he expressed in his poetry, and he travelled to the land of Israel. There is a legend, although much later than his actual lifetime, that he died trampled by an Arab horseman on the outskirts of Jerusalem, but we can hope that he made it into Jerusalem itself and he died there in a place which he had dreamed about and longed for for so many years of his life. Thanks for joining.